Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use ClickUp for bookkeeping and also for accounting. So there are actually two ways how we can do it and I'm going to show you the both ways. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click new space and here we're going to add a template. Here you also click on the type folder, click on the department, unselect all, then click finance and accounting. In that moment you're going to have uh, you're going to be in finance accounting and you have option to use the accounting, bookkeeping firm or tax preparation. Of course you can also directly use a list only but I recommend like using it all so uh, click here on finance accounting and then uh, you can simply use template. Then when you have it the folder name is going to be accounting and I'm going to use the space. I'm going to use the MySpace here but of course, if you already created your own space, like let's say uh, for your bookkeeping firm, you can have it there. Use template. And now it's going to get created and we will have it right here. If you don't have your own space, just click here new space and create your complete new one space and then uh, follow the steps and add it there. Here I got it, the accounting. So when you're going to click on it, you're going to have the getting started table. This template will help you manage basic accounting. So you can go to overview, you can overview over accounts and I'm going to show you what you can find there. And how to use it. So you can also like delete uh, if you want to the getting started guide in overview where we're going to get there and it's going to load. Uh, we can see what. So this is the like the main overview which is as a Kanban board but I want to show you first the list view and here I want to show you the list view first then we can go to then we can go to overview and then also table so when we click here on a list it's still loading so we'll get there later I guess views on the aging what we can find here First, suppliers as overdue. You're going to have the priorities here, amount owed, account value, and then you're going to have the confidence level on which you can have the on track, might be late, late, and payment method. It's going to be credit, credit card, net 10, 20, or 30. So this is uh, the aging. Then you're going to find the what we owe as suppliers, clients, and again, you're going to have the amount owed confidence level, and then you're going to find also the invoice. You can always click on an example and you can find their all. Now, I would also recommend like having uh, for your clients um, like assets when you would like add columns and you can easily add um, files. So that's something you can do. And then you can have predicted revenue. But this is like the whole group of accounting. And these are the nine tasks. And this is all, always like the amount owed, account value, confidence level, invoice. When you're going to click on a list, we have it right here. And in a list view, we're going to have what? The account payable, which is this one and then account receivable. So account payable is the paid ones. And then we have the contact here, amount owed, confidence level, supplier, the category, invoice and notes preparing. Then you have ready to pay. And unpaid. So these are the unpaid and you can simply add a new task and have the supplier six and have a name here. Amount of $500. If it's going to be late, then I can have a category invoice and notes, then account receivable. So then this is what we can find here. 
and now we have three options here aging predicted revenue so when i go back to the accounting uh you can have the paid ones and this is literally the same thing here and invoice sent now i would also like recommend having the invoice sent a date when did you actually send the invoice that would be really great here so adding add a column and add a date when it happened so that's something too now on the overview you can find on track might be late late so this is the group by confidence level and then you can like contact them call them etc like what is happening what's wrong now when we go also on mind map we can see the accounts payable account receivable you can use that if you want and then you're gonna find also the table which everything you got here now when i go here back to the accounts payable we have again the board here the list here so a list is paid ready to pay unpaid this is like for the supplier six that we added so these are the accounts payable then we have the payable outstanding and we have the calendar the dates and everything of suppliers then in a the table we can find again everything what we need accounts receivable so again you can have the invoice sent here is account value invoice value amount owed so that's something interesting you can do and you can have the aging here has no due date and then predicted revenue so you're gonna have covered everything so this is the first template that you can use or what you can do is to simply folder department again I'm going to choose the finance accounting and here I'm going to choose the bookkeeping firm And again, you would just add it to your space and I want to show you how, what you can see there and find there. So let's see how until it's going to load and create. Bookkeeping. So first thing first, we can go to client onboarding. So here you would have the stock in progress open. And these would be the closed ones. So uh, you're going to find the client QuickBooks training session, time estimate, pending client response. No, no, no. So uh, this is like the first one what you can have. You can always change the list settings here, the list statuses. Use folder statuses, open, in progress, start, closed. But client onboarding can be uh, like... Let's say that you want to have, yeah, I'm going to edit this. So I can have custom here and I'm going to have to do. No, we can have active clients or mm, what I need to do for them. Yeah, to do can be in progress and I can like complete okay I'll just edit this so here I'm going to show empty statuses and I can simply go with to do and I can add to do so have a call with client And then I have a signing time estimate, pending client response, priority notes, and I can simply click plus here and I can add a name of the client and edit right here and change the name. And then you, you're gonna have the to do and in progress. And when you would like move it here, 
what you can do is just simply click on it and then just like set to complete. So that's pretty much it and that's how we do it. So empty statuses and you would find it all. Now, when we go further, you're going to have the monthly action items, the stack in progress open, uh, where you would find the open what needs to be done, send invoice to client, then you would like add it to progress. Now I would definitely recommend like having uh, also the client name here as we create this a uh, add a column text client name and add the name there or email address to who you wanted to send it to, uh, who is taking care of it and yearly action items. These are what you have to do like every year. Now this is a little bit limited in my opinion, like I can create like much better one or like improve this. I would definitely recommend like having another one of these lists in client bookkeeping, uh, bookkeeping when you don't have only the client onboarding, monthly action items, yearly action items, but you're going to have actually have a client list in which you're going to have uh, the active clients. So let me just show you this. I will just open the window and I'm going to show you what you can do. So what you should do is to have a client list, which I'm going to edit as a list setting, list statuses, and it's going to be active clients like this and then uh, we can have click save. Now what I will do is that when I have the active clients I'm going to add a task name which is going to be let's say Marcus client right I'm going to click save here I'm going to add a phone number then I'm going to add also email okay under those under that client what you can do is to simply click here and add a subtasks what needs to be done for the client. So that's what you can do. Or what you can simply do is when you're going to have the client and you're going to have the email, uh, you can also have uh, like direct invoices with them. Like also uh, how much they're paying, but you would have it in accounting. In the bookkeeping, you can have a relationship with tasks. But what I would actually recommend is when you're going to have the monthly action items, so let's say that uh, I need to have, uh, you see the client name, but what you can have is much better when you would add a relationship and this is going to be client. And now I'm going to have a bookkeeping. I'm going to choose the client. Yes, adds column. Now I would simply choose here client Marcus client. So now when there is like a payroll, let's say, or like, let's say invoicing, right? Marcus client. I can simply click here and open the Marcus client and see, uh, let's say, look at this, uh, their email, phone number, where I need to send them email. So this is something that I would definitely recommend to have, to have it combined and see for who you need to do what. So we don't get lost. And this is just my tip for bookkeeping and accounting in ClickUp. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope it provided a little bit of value. I hope you're going to have a great day and yeah, thank you and see ya. Goodbye.